Greetings and welcome to STL Soccer Talk, the video edition, here at stltoday.com and the St. Louis Post-Dispatch. I'm Tom Timmerman, joined by Beth O'Malley here at the STL Today Soccer Talk Soccer Studio. And uh, Beth, with St. Louis City right now, uh, as they start the second half of the season, it's a tricky time for them because, uh, you know, Klaus has been out for a while, but now Edu Leuven is out, and that's going to be a tough one. And the, the team clearly misses him because they've had to make several changes with positioning, uh, and those changes haven't helped the offense or, unfortunately, really the defense. You look at the last, they played two games without Leuven. They've lost them both. They've been outscored 6-2 to two, uh, in those games. Uh, you know, Leuven is the offensive engine, gets things going on both ends, a box-to-box -box player, you know, can be, do well at either end, and there's really not someone that they can easily replace him with. Uh, it looks like Indiana Vasilev will be the guy, has been the guy in that so far, but Vasilev had been playing up top and was having pretty good success up top and helping uh, Nico Giochini uh, in the offense going, and now they're going to miss out on that. So they're, right. it's, it's, they're putting their fingers in, in holes in the wall. and. Uh, Hopefully not too many more holes in that wall will appear, but the schedule continues. They've got another game on Saturday uh, against... San Jose. Thank you. San Jose. <laughs> <laughs> there are so many games and there are so many teams. And, but it's tough because in the Western Conference, the teams are so tightly bunched. Mm -hmm. You know, there are only a few points separates second and seventh place. And so for one, they got to win these games. Yes. You know, they can't just say, well, we'll wait until... Lumen gets back after the league's cup break because if you do then you may be in seventh or eighth place and it's a bad place to be in you know you right now they're in second place three games out of first but a lot of teams really close to them they need every point they can get and so it's going to be a challenge and they've got to figure out a way it took them a while after when klaus went out before they sorted that out and they eventually did you know, you're going to want to see more out of Thomas Ostrock. He's mm -hmm. going to be a guy who's going to get more chances up top uh, to play. So we'll see how that plays out uh, for City. But they're, you know, they haven't been as good on the road as at home. So that'll be a challenge. Though in their last two games, they were probably better at Nashville than they were at home against Real Salt Lake. I thought so at least. I thought in Nashville they had a nice uh, couple of minutes where they had control of the ball. They were making shots. They were passing very well. The Real Salt Lake game, their first touches weren't there. They weren't connecting quite as well up and down the field. Um, and you mentioned Giochini, and one of the interesting things is he's been the only player to score recently. Mm -hmm. So they just need that offensive production out of more players on the field. You know, early on they had that. They were getting goals from the Strouds and Alms of the world, and uh, they've had less of that. Lately. On a non-St. Louis City note, but on a Saint, City of St. Louis note, yes. we should note that uh, bad news in that Becky Sauerbrunn, uh, the pride of Ledoux and of the greater St. Louis area, will not be on the U.S. team that goes to the Women's World Cup this summer. That's right. And it's the first uh, World Cup roster without a St. Louisan on it since 2007. So it's been quite a while since St. Louisans haven't had somebody to root for. It's still looking like a great roster, although a young team. And we're going to talk a lot more about that as the World Cup approaches. We will. And it's, you know, it's a foot injury for Sauerbrunn that's keeping her out. And um, it just they couldn't get the timing to work out. And it's, you know, the team, you know, to a player says, you know, they're heartbroken to not have uh, their leader. The captain. And the captain, yeah. Becky Sauerbrunn, uh, with them. Uh, we talk about all of this and more and much, much more uh, on the podcast, which if it's not available by the time you're listening to this, it will be available soon Very at stltoday.com. Um, it's just a lengthy discussion. And if you're on the website, gobs of coverage of St. Louis City and you know, all, things, uh, all things soccer. So uh, if you're following the, the team, that's the place to go. Uh, until next week, and next week the U.S. men's team is in town to play St. Kitts and Nevis uh, and more games for St. Louis City. Uh, until then, we'll have more to talk about, but until then, for Beth O'Malley, I'm Tom Timmerman. Be seeing you.